Hello everyone, Rich Hagen, Brian David Marshall. We're holding white bits of paper and that means it's time for the end of day wrap. Brian David Marshall, we came in and we weren't sure whether it was a day and a tournament for the dark horses to shine, or whether it was a day and a tournament for thoroughbreds. Are we any closer to knowing on the basis of day one? I see a lot of thoroughbreds here on this first page. Okay, so why don't we get to our master scoreboard and show you where we stand at the end of day one. Our top 20 players look like this. We have two perfect records. They are both Americans here in the capital of the United States, Seth Manfield and Austin Bursevich. Yeah, Austin Bursevich, a good friend of Tom Ross's from Louisiana. Uh, someone who's uh, done well at the Grand Prix. He has, he has a, a little bit of Grand Prix top eight success. What, what, this is second Pro Tour, his most wildly successful outing in a Pro Tour. The same is true of three-time Grand Prix champion uh, Seth Manfield, someone we had in here early. We saw him win uh, Grand Prix Ottawa recently. He's won three Grand Prix. His best day one at a Pro Tour before this was six and two. Uh, wildly successful day for him. Uh, two, you know, very disparate decks, but not necessarily wildly different in terms of what they're doing. Very, very aggressive decks. Uh, a burn deck for Seth Manfield and an infect deck for Austin Bursevich. So decks that are really looking to kill their opponents very quickly and put them under tremendous duress. Okay, as you can see on the scoreboard behind us, then we get all the seven and ones. There are plenty of these. They go down to 14th place right now. So two Italians, that's Marco Lombardi and Roberto Esposito. Great job by them. The Frenchman, 24-year-old Alexandra Bono. Not very vastly experienced at the Pro Tour level, but a great job by him. Hats off Stephen Murray, seven and one from Scotland. And then, Mr. Historian, seven and one. Been a while since we've seen this name on the first page of a leaderboard, Svi Moshewitz. Svi Moshewitz, uh, yeah, of course, the Hall of Famer, uh, you know, great deck designer, theorist about the game, someone who's been uh, involved with it since very, very early on. He's not played a lot of Magic, despite being a Pro Tour Hall of Famer, because he recently became a Magic dad. And, uh, you know, it's a little difficult for him, mm -hmm. but, you know, he was able to get away for this one. He was like, wow, this was a little, a little harder. Maybe if he didn't, you know, hadn't, was playing here without a kid, he'd be 8 -0. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he said, it was, he said it was pretty difficult. By the way, another name uh, stands out for me there, Martin Mueller, uh, obviously part of the Danish national team that won the World Magic Cup. Yeah. So a World Magic Cup champion doing well at his next Pro Tour here. And as the captain of the Danes, he will be back for the World Championship, trying to knock Shah Shenha off his perch as he goes for a three-peat. Jesse Hampton, we've seen him in a Pro Tour Top 8 before. Frank Carson, of course, another Pro Tour Hall of Famer there at 7-1. Eric Froelich, he's a little disappointed. He's picked up a loss at this tournament. Disgraceful, really. <laughs> uh, he, of course, the winner of uh, the Grand Prix last weekend in San Jose. Matt Oldeka, 7-1, by far his best performance. Great job for him. And Kim sang yoon of South Korea. Watch out. We know about Nam Sung-wook. Now we've got Kim sang yoon there at seven and one and finally of the seven and ones we talked about this in your column last week as like fairy tales don't happen in sport they just don't when you've got 407 people saying oh yeah the guy who finished second last year he's going to go one better of course that doesn't happen but jacob wilson is ahead of the curve i i have a Chion out there who would like to argue with you that fairy tales don't happen. That is for sure. Yeah, Paul Ch Now, he's actually had a slightly disappointing end to the day. Ended up at five and three. Um, all three of last week's winners, Froelich, Chion, Scott Vargas, were all three and oh coming out of their yeah. draft pods. And then they separated quite widely. Chion, five, three. Uh, Froelich, seven, one. Luis, I think, is through today too, but not by a lot, I okay. don't believe. Um, so that's there. Then as we head, now, number 15. Another Pro Tour Hall of Famer, Jelger Wiegersma there. Uh, he was, uh, he had one, he had no loss to trial. He was undefeated with a tie, with, a, with an unintentional draw. Uh, and he has picked up a loss along the way. So he is 6-1-1 one, and one, and all alone at that tier in the standings. Now, once you get to the six and twos, they are going to go all the way down to 57th place, which essentially means the top seven draft pods tomorrow morning when we come back will all be six and two or better. And that means you are going to see the grinder, the absolute meat grinder through the first three rounds as the field compresses 
because only one player of every eight can go 3-0. and But, you know, you have names like Kentaro Yamamoto, Yuki Ichikawa, John Finkel, Joel Larson, David Ochoa, Willie Adel, uh, Alex Magelton, of course, the, uh, you know, affinity master. Uh, Reed Duke, Lee Mike Sigris, Chan Reed is there. Duke, yeah, Lee Shi Tian. Uh, so, you know, thing, things get uh, Paul Rietzel at 6-2. and two. So another Hall of Famer, John Finkel, of course, we mentioned him, another Hall of Famer, the first Hall of Famer. So we would like you to take part at two Twitter hashtags. First of all, hashtag best deck. What do you think is the best deck in modern? If you were coming back tomorrow in light of what we've learned today, would you be still middle of the pack with Abzan? Would you be joining Seth on the burn plan? Or would you be going, yeah, it's time to infect some people out. So hashtag best deck. And then knowing now that half the field and more are gone, use the hashtag fantasy PT to tell us who would your three favorites be to take down the title? Do you think that Seth Manfield and Austin Bursevich can seal the deal and get into the top eight and go deep on Sunday? Or is it going to be Osman Osguni, this fantastic Turkish magic community story? For him, will it be Yuki Ichikawa in his third Pro Tour top eight in only seven starts? You, you've already called it there. You're saying Jacob Wilson for the win. Yeah, I'm sure he's thrilled to have my support. <laughs> now, a terrific job by him and all these players here. We'd like to thank every one of you for being part of it. What should we do tomorrow? Any ideas? Yeah, let's talk to some Magic players, have a draft, play some modern, make a top eight. Let's do that. We will see you tomorrow on behalf of everyone at Wizards of the Coast. For Brian David Marshall, I'm your host, Rich Hagen, saying bye. <laughs>